Please be careful when filling out these documents. Tell the truth, uh, operate with integrity, don't skip over things, uh, and work with an agent that respects that part of the process because... Expert news and views on the Low Country real estate scene. The Brian Beatty Real Estate Show. Here's your host, Brian Beatty. Welcome back, folks, as the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show continues here on the Big Talker 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. I always like to take a moment and just let you guys know that I appreciate you listening to this show. Been a ton of fun being on this station for the past 10 years. And who knows how many more, but we're going to keep going here. We got a lot of momentum on the show, and I certainly appreciate those of you that reach out, that ask questions, that need help, that uh, are looking for quality representation when it comes to buying, selling, investing, or managing your investment properties. So would love the opportunity to continue to, to work with you guys and, and be that resource for you, if nothing else. So feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions, or maybe you have a suggestion for something you'd like to hear more information on on this program. Or of course, to you know, discuss hiring me as your real estate agent. My number is 843-800-0065. That's 843-800-0065. Or go to listingsincharleston.com or, or brianbeattyteam.com. But I want to continue these little stories here because some of them are just, some of them are wild. And I don't think I have time to get to all of them. But I think a, a lot of what stories like this do is help you understand that things go wrong. There are things that will occur throughout the course of almost every transaction that we need to account for, adjust as a result of, maybe exploit. Maybe there's an opportunity based on some of the things that are happening to come out a little bit better than when we went in, case in point. Quite a while ago, uh, and I, I'm, I'm using stories that are that are a little bit older, just because I don't like anything too fresh. It's, a lot of these things are stressful, right? They're emotionally traumatic for a lot of people because they're unplanned surprises that create delays. And real estate is already a very emotional, stressful process. Any agent out there that promises a, a stress-free transaction hasn't been doing this very long. Now we try to manage and mitigate that as much as possible. And a lot of that has to do with the preparation uh, and the game plan going in. Because I think a really effective game plan is something that says, and hey, when this happens, this is what we do. This is the strategy. I think a lot of agents are kind of missing that in their conversations with folks. And it's something that's incredibly important. I was just about to say case in point, we were walking through a, well, I'll put it this way. A buyer that we were representing was about to close on a very nice house. And it was time for the final walkthrough. Now, these buyers were purchasing this home virtually, right? They'd never seen it. They're on the West Coast. They relied on me to guide them through this process, which we did. And everything was going really well. Well, the final walkthrough is something you do right before you close on the property. You basically do it to ensure that the property is in the kind of condition you last saw it in before you buy it and it becomes yours. Well, the day of closing, it was raining. And the listing agent says, look, uh, you know, we just had the carpets cleaned. It's been pouring down rain. Is there any way, I mean, are you sure you guys need to do the the final walkthrough? I said, well, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> million dollar home. Yeah, we have to do it. She's like, okay, well, can you come like a little later on in the afternoon when the rain dies down, just so we're not, you know, walking uh, through the house with wet shoes and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, that doesn't really work for us. And that would mean we'd have to change the closing. So I'm just going to come at the intended time. The sellers have already moved out. I will be there in 30 minutes while I get there. And there is water basically pouring through the roof down an elevated two-story family room wall. And there were some towels on the floor next to it, meaning somebody was made aware that we were coming and just left. Ultimately, I mean, the unfortunate ending to this story is that we did not close and that deal did not go through because the seller was unwilling to address the issues with the roof. Now, again, it was a hard rain. And even though the home inspection didn't reveal any previous leaks, this was clearly a new leak because the roof was older and we didn't we hadn't bought the house yet well it's the responsibility of the owner to properly maintain the home up until the property changes hands and goes to the buyer seller didn't see it that way and we weren't going to buy a, a very expensive home with an inherent a roof issue that we'd then have to go around and and replace for you know what would probably have cost a, close to 20 grand maybe a little more and so the deal just didn't go through but could you imagine 
buying a house in another area with the real estate agent that you just have to kind of blindly trust. Whatever this agent's telling me, I guess it sounds good enough to believe them. But I guess, could you imagine being in a position where you bought a house, the agent told you that they walked through it when in fact they hadn't? I mean, there's some serious risk involved with purchasing property, especially sight unseen. You got to work with somebody that knows what they're doing and that has your back and that's telling you the truth and all those things. But you get, you get the point, right? That's why we do final walkthroughs. What was concerning, of course, was the listing agent asking if we really had to get it done. Seller just trying to sweep that issue under the rug. That is the kind of stuff that creates massive lawsuits between buyers and sellers because it is your responsibility as the seller to fill out something called a property condition disclosure statement that lists everything that might be right or wrong with that house. Well, it's really only the things that are currently wrong, except for a few questions. There are a lot of sellers out there that will just omit information about the condition of the home. And frankly, a lot of agents are like very blasé about filling out that document. I am, I have someone that I know and I'm very close to that has been locked in an almost five year lawsuit because they sold their home for sale by owner. They got an inspection report that the buyer chose to use. And then after she moved in, the roof started to leak and ended up suing the seller, saying that the seller knew about it all along. Even though the buyer chose not to get the inspection, their real estate agent said, hey, this inspection looks fine. You should just buy it. But they're suing the seller anyways. And there have been hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees as a result of that. Please be careful when filling out these documents. Tell the truth. uh, Operate with integrity. Don't skip over things. uh, And work with an agent that respects that part of the process. Because when they do that and when they're being sticklers about stuff like that, they're trying to prevent you from getting sued. And them along with it, of course. If you want to reach out to me, you've got some questions, you've got some stories that you'd like to share, or maybe you're thinking of buying, selling, or investing in real estate, or maybe you have a home that you'd like for us to property manage for you, feel free to give me a call, 843-800-0065. That's 843-800-0065. Or check us out online at listingsincharleston.com. Stick around, we'll be right back. Stay tuned for more of the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show. Have a real estate question? Ask Brian Beatty. Contact Brian Beatty online at listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com. Or call him at 843-888-0065. That's 843-888-0065. 